Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I've just got uh, a few bits from the charity shops from the last couple of days. Uh, I think I've only got five or six items, so I'm not going to make this like a really long haul video or anything. Uh, I'll just get on with it and uh, share with you a few of the items. So first off, I've got a really cool item actually. So first up is this uh, vase here. You see, it's quite a nice looking vase. Now, I did look at this on the shelf and I thought, hmm, is that just one of those standard vases? You know, you get like, a, I don't know whether it's Ikea or somewhere, but you know, you, you, you see them in the charity shops and stuff and you flip them over and then they just have a barcode on them and it says like £9 from X shop. And I was kind of thinking, oh, that might be one of those, but I thought, you know what, it does look quite nice. I'm going to have to at least flip it over to see. And uh, you can see here, it's quite a nice one. But I was not thinking one bit that it was going to be uh, West German ceramics, or, well, German ceramics, because it says just Germany on there. So I'm guessing that this is more of a modern piece, because it doesn't have the W Germany on there, it just has Germany. So... That may mean that obviously it's more modern because there isn't a West and East Germany anymore. And it does have that more modern look to this. Um, and yeah, I was really intrigued that, that that was where it came from. I honestly thought that this might just be a pretty standard piece. Um, and maybe it might have been a little bit of studio pottery from somewhere or anything. But I was not thinking it would be uh, German ceramics like this. So um, yeah, it has that... Uh, on, and on another haul video, uh, more recently, I showed a piece with that shy reach on or something again. Um, and it's a 28 uh, centimeter. Oh, that's interesting. So the more modern pieces like this one, they actually put centimeters next to the next to the number. So you actually know now that it's definitely centimeters. Oh no, it's not 28. It's 26 centimeters. But it's still, it's quite a nice one. Now, I only paid two quid for it. I was going to be all over that two quid. I don't know what this goes for. Because it's more modern, it might go for less money. Um, or it might go for more money. I really don't know. I'm going to have to do some more research into this. Some proper research into it. Because this could be a decent piece that goes for some good money. Um, it is quite nice. And... It's just got a nice standard design to it. And when I say standard, I don't mean standard like in a bad way or a negative way. I actually think that this is like, uh, I mean more minimalist, let's say, not standard. Because standard does have a negative connotation uh, towards it. But more like minimalist design. And I really do like that. I think that's quite nice. Um, so I'll just give you a quick tw twirl of it there. And for £2, I was all over that. So I will have to do a bit more research on this. So I'm not going to necessarily give you a price. Um, but there should be some good money in that. There's definitely way more than my £2 in it. So, uh, yeah, pretty happy with that one. Nice piece. No chips or cracks around. I always make sure to just have a look in the charity shop. Always, you know, on the rim and then also... On the rim at the bottom here, sometimes there can be some little chips and cracks there. Also, yeah, I've got to just do a general little inspect for, uh, you know, little, like, hairline cracks and stuff like that. Doesn't matter too much if there's, like, firing faults and stuff, because some people actually like the firing faults, but... Yeah, it seems quite a nice one, this one, in perfect condition as far as I can see. So, yeah, really uh, unusual, that, that one. I really didn't expect it to be uh, the German ceramics there. So, yeah, that's that one. Next, we've got this little uh, wrestling belt. Now, it has tape on the sides, but I don't think that this tape is actually, like, to cover up rips or anything. I think it's just to hold... I think that what we've done is they've either put that on... Someone's put it on before we donated it to the charity shop, or the charity shop has put it on to kind of, like, hold it together, hold the two straps together. Um, but, yeah, it's this, um, what does it say here? World Wrestling Entertainment Tag Team Championship Champions, um, 199 I paid. It's a little WWE belt. Don't know what this one particularly goes for, but some of them go for, like, 15, 20 quid. Other more standard ones, maybe a little bit less than 15 quid. Um, so, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to be shooting for on that one, maybe 12 or 15, unless it is more of a sought-after one, but it... It doesn't seem like it's going to be one of the sort after ones, this one. It seems a pretty standard one in my eyes. So, yeah, but I thought I'd still pick it up for 199 uh, So there'll still be some decent money in that one. So, yeah, that's that one there. Next, um, I couldn't resist picking up this jumper only because it's Gant, as you can see in there. Uh, it's medium as well. Um, it was three quid. I don't know where you see that there. Three pound. And uh, as far as I'm aware, it's in pretty good condition. I don't know whether it's a man's or a woman's. I suppose it could be unisex, but I'm guessing it's a man's because 
I think it was, yeah, I think it was like in the men's jumpers or shirts, so I'm guessing it would be a man's. Um, but it's not, you know, it's just got this kind of little standard pattern on here. I don't know what you call these patterns. I'm not a clothing seller, as you know, so I'm not going to appear as if I know loads about clothing because I don't. Um, but yeah, it doesn't seem to have any whip, uh, not whip, well, I suppose whips, but also like holes and stuff, I was thinking. It doesn't really have any holes or anything in it, as far as I could tell. Um, so yeah, I, I don't really know about price on this one, because I've never had a Gantt jumper before. I've had Gantt shirts, and I think I've sold them anywhere between 20 and 25 quid, that sort of range. I'm guessing, again, this would be very much that sort of range. Hopefully, I'd get 25 for it, um, but yeah. Three quid on that one. I was happy with that one. I literally only pick up a couple of brands of clothing that I think, oh, yeah, like, that might go for some money. And it really is a complete guess with me because I do not... When I research clothing, like, I've got the um, page up. I've done, tried to do a bit of research on this. But I cannot find this exact jumper on here at all. Now, I've only done a couple of searches, to be honest, but... I just get so frustrated with clothing because I just can't find the exact one and I'm sure there's a way to do it. I'm sure there's a way to find the exact one, but I've never been able to do it and then I've always thought, well, what what the hell do I price at, you know? But it is quite funny that, isn't it, in a way, because I have no trouble doing the exact same thing but with antiques. Like, half of the antiques that I sell, I don't know price. Like, I mean, there's no prices on complete and solds. Yet I will still price them at a reasonable price and then they will sell within a reasonable time frame. Very rarely or, or you know, infrequently, I will undersell some items, but generally I'll get the price pretty spot on without even complete and sold information there. So it's weird that I can do that with antiques, but when it comes to clothing, I'm way out of my depth. But it's weird. But, you know, it's the same kind of thing. You know, if, there's, if I can't find that on complete and sold or I can't find, you know, let's say that vase on complete and sold... It's the same thing, however, I feel more comfortable pricing that vase on my own than I do pricing a piece of clothing on my own. Very odd. Um, but yeah, so hopefully some money in that one at least. So next we've got this uh, little, uh, these two dolphins here. I couldn't resist picking these up. They were £5, so it was a, a little bit more than I'd usually pay for uh, most things in charity shops. Normally I pick things up, you know, £1 to £3 if I can. Um, but I thought these were worth, uh, worth a 5 quid. Uh, they're quite heavy, I don't know the exact weight, I'm guessing about a kilo, maybe just over a kilo. Um, and obviously it's just these two dolphins here, quite nice. I've not really seen dolphins in brass that much. I know the, obviously they're not necessarily really rare or anything. Uh, you get a lot of uh, different animals in brass, but I've just never really picked anything up, uh, anything up like these, you know, the dolphins. Um, but yeah, five quid, I'm thinking of going about 30 quid on these and just waiting. Um, I don't think I could get much more than that. You know, maybe with the right keywords, I could push a little bit more, but I think I'd be waiting if I go any more. Like, I think I'd be waiting a long time if I go any more than 30. Um, if I go 30, I think I'm going to get the sale within a reasonable time frame, but I still think I'll be waiting a little bit. Um, but yeah, from five five pound into hopefully thirty quid, um, I thought I'd uh, take a punt on those there. I mean, they are quite a nice item. I love p picking up anything in brass. Um, I don't know what attracts me to metalware, but I just really do like uh, selling metalware and picking it up. I think a lot of people do. I don't, I don't know why that is that so many people enjoy picking up metalware when we get into antiques and collectibles. But it, it yeah, it's just. I don't know, I can really appreciate some of the things in metalware, and I can appreciate a lot of the things in pottery and stuff as well, but something about metalware, I do, I don't know, I just love selling it, so it's very odd, it's very, it, it's almost impossible for me to describe why I love selling it, it's just some, some of the items are just really cool, I suppose, um, but yeah, so that's that one there. And finally, basically the counters are all falling out inside the box. Uh, this is Spears Games Mousy Mousy. Now, this isn't the older version or like the original version. Uh, the original version is like a completely black box. And I think it has blue writing on it for the Mousy Mousy. So this is a slightly more updated version, but it's still a vintage version. You can still see there I paid £1. This was when um, I was looking around the charity shops and I hadn't got anything in the first two or three shops. And I was like, oh, so I, you know, I saw it. I've had both the versions of this game a couple of times before. Um, and I thought, oh, well, I'll research it and see if there's any money in it. And, uh, you know, I was kind of just clutching at straws, really, because I couldn't see anything at the time in the charity shop. And I saw that a few of them had gone for around a tenner and I thought... You know what? I'll pick it up. It's only a quid, a pound into ten pound. I'm still happy with it, but it was just like mm, it's one of those finds that I was like, 
yeah, I suppose I'll take it because I can't really find anything better. Um, but yeah, there's still going to be some money in it. But, you know, they've only, like the ones that have gone, there's only a few that have just about made a tenner. So it'll probably be a, like a £10 free postage job opposed to £10 plus postage. So that's why I was like, mm, you know, it really is on the lower end of things. But, uh, you know, for me personally, for what I do. Um, but, you know, I was still happy because I thought for, from one quid, it's still, there's still going to be like five quid, six quid profit in it. Uh, even after postage and stuff so uh, you know pretty happy with that and uh, it's a nice little uh, item there so yeah that is everything so you know I got a few bits and that is like two days worth of charity shopping there so it wasn't as good this week last week or maybe the week before or maybe both weeks I don't know it has been a bit better I have got a few items of RA that have just gone in my lockup from various different days I've been charity shopping. So, uh, you know, as well as those items, I have been getting a few bits of retail arbitrage as well. So it's not been terrible, I have to say. But, you know, it's still, I'd like a little bit more. I'd still like the charity shops to really uh, be a bit more consistent. But I suppose they just aren't these days. They used to be a lot more consistent for me, but it's just not as consistent. But, yeah, that's my haul anyway. Um, and hopefully next week I will uh, do pretty well from charity shops and uh, I can bring you an even larger haul. Um, but, yeah, I may as well leave it here. I don't want to ramble any longer. We'll, we'll uh, cut this one a little bit shorter. And, uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. So uh, if you did like it, then please do give it a like. If you haven't already, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. And, uh, yeah, if you've got any comments, questions or queries do drop them down below for me and i will see you in the next one so see you very soon guys